Chris secretly placed the wealthy man's phone in the pocket of the body to be buried with him, but not long after. The boy received a text message from the wealthy man. Chris was startled. Was he still alive? He hurried to the graveyard to check and mustered the courage to dial the wealthy man's number. Then he pressed his ear against the ground. At that moment, he heard a familiar ringtone from the graveyard. Chris could hardly believe it. What was happening? It turned out that when Chris was eight, his mother passed away. He became introverted and withdrawn. One day, while Chris was reading in the church, he caught the attention of Mr. Harrigan, the richest man in the state, because Mr. Harrigan's eyesight was failing due to his old age. He hired Chris to read books and newspapers for him. Paying him $5 per hour, Mr. Harrigan lived in a mansion, with luxurious interior decorations. The walls were adorned with priceless paintings. Mr. Harrigan sat in the center of his study, and Chris read to him, but Mr. Harrigan had a bad reputation. 